Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Coach Coco and I love volleyball. So much so my channel is filled with tips, tricks, hacks, and anything you could ever need to know about volleyball. So, do you want to be a tricky volleyball player? Do you want to know how to play short in deep court? This video is for you. Let's get right into it. myself on is not only being a swinger but being able to have that spidey sense of volleyball in which I can read the court and know how to be short and deep plays. There is two different types of court. We have the short court and the deep court. You want to know how to play both of those kinds of courts for the optimal volleyball usage. Let's, let's, let me explain it a bit further. So when we're looking at the court we know that the short court is anything before the 10 foot line. The deep court is anything behind the 10 foot line. If you understand volleyball rotations, you've seen enough volleyball games, you just observe volleyball in general, you will start to get to understand and know exactly how players move. Typically, players tend to move very similarly that they've played before. So if you've played a team before, most likely they're gonna play similarly again. So if that's information that you already know in the past, use it to your advantage. So if we know that, for example, if we know that there's going to be a blocker here when I swing and everybody's going to bunch up to then cover what's available, the deep court. So that's something that you want to use to your advantage. So if you know that they're coming up, everybody's coming up, use the deep court. If you're playing and you're sitting on the bench and you see that everybody is just scatterbrained everywhere, but short is open, use it to your advantage. This is what we mean by playing short in deep court. So that means that, for example, if I know that everybody's bunched up, am I gonna give the ball and just tip it right there? Everybody's waiting for me? No, I'm gonna push it deep because she's not there. We want to be and think steps ahead. We want to think more proactively than these other players. Another example, let's say there's a blocker here. She's blocking, she's so good. She gets everything and just go chick, chick, boom, okay, every time. But we know that the outside over here, she's painting her nails, she's not ready, she doesn't know what she's doing. Okay, she's just kind of lollygagging. Am I gonna keep painting in the block to just get chick chick boomed every time? No, I'm gonna then push it over here to the outside hitter who's painting her nails. We just wanna think more proactively. I know that a lot of you all are in the skill level now where you kind of are reactionary the ball comes to you and it's just muscle memory and you kind of just do what you think you can but i want you to start practicing thinking proactively that means thinking forward thinking about what you can do next instead of what oh my gosh the ball came to me i'm just gonna react no we want to take a deep breath we want to scan the court Look around, okay, I see the libero. She's way far up. She shouldn't be this far up, so I'm gonna give it to her. I want you to start thinking about it that way. But on the flip side, I want you to remember that while you're thinking about it like that, other players are looking at you like that. So that means that you don't wanna be predictable. You don't wanna be the player where, oh, she hits angle every time. It doesn't matter, we're gonna block angle every time because she hits it every time. I want you to be have some diversity, have some variety. So don't hit it angle every time. Try to hit line, tip angle. Work on your roll shot, work on your push. You wanna add diversity so that way somebody doesn't peg you as a predictable player every time. So when you're playing short and deep court, that means that you need to think that step ahead. Everybody's bunched up, go deep. Everybody's in the far back, I don't know what they're doing back there, go short. Think steps ahead. This is one of the key things to becoming a smarter, faster, better volleyball player. And one of the things that we want to be, I want you to be able to do, is have that volleyball spidey sense that you can just see what's gonna happen and you know what to do. It's start small, start slow. It doesn't have to be something that you make a change immediately, but just start thinking about that short and deep court. So the next time you go and you play volleyball, I want you to divide the court into short and deep, and I want you to take a look and see some of the patterns that you're noticing. Is your team, are your teammates always playing real close to the net? Are they always playing really deep? 
is nobody covering? Is the blocker going up but nobody's there? I want you to think about that. And then I want you to put in the comments below some of the things that you noticed because it might be something somebody else have noticed as well. So I hope this video has helped you a little bit. Get your spidey senses. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.